An easy way to get information from Power Query without going into the Power Query editor is by creating parameters. Parameters give you the flexibility to change the output of your queries. I created a parameter query for this data and all I have to do is update the month, refresh and Excel will load the data relating to the period. If you have colleagues or clients that find the Power Query interface intimidating, you can create a parameter like this. So in this video, I'll show you how to use a parameter to filter data based on single and multiple criteria and how to return all the data when the parameter is blank. If this sounds interesting, keep watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you. I'll use a sample data from Microsoft. The data contains information relating to sales, products, segments, and so on. I'll connect Power Query directly to the download link just to show you how to get data from the web. All you have to do is right click and copy the URL. Go to the data tab in your workbook. From web, control V to paste the URL. OK. Give it some time to connect. Now open as an Excel workbook. The summary of the content is displayed here. When you click on it, you see a preview of the data below. I'll go with the second one because the kind is table. Just click on it and now we have the table. I'll name the query data. There are several columns here, so I'll remove the unnecessary ones. In the Home tab, click on Choose Columns. Choose Columns to Keep. Uncheck Select All Columns. Keep Segment, Country, Product, Sales, Profit, Month Name and Year. OK. You can use Ctrl Shift plus or minus to zoom in or out. Now go to the Home tab, close and load to a table. I'll place it in the existing worksheet. Cool. Now we can create a parameter by following these steps. First, create a named range or a table with the value to be filtered. In this case, we want to filter by month. So I'll name this cell month filter and load it into power query. Right click, get data from selection. Power query already promoted headers and changed type. These steps are not needed, so I'll delete them. Right click on the value and select drill down. You now have a query parameter called month filter. Go to the home tab and load to connection only. Now we have to connect the parameter to the data. Go back to the editor, go to the month column and filter by any month. Uncheck all and select June. Now in this case, June is a temporary placeholder for any month in the month filter cell. Expand the formula bar. The filter criteria is June. Now the next step is to replace the criteria with the parameter query. Delete June. Now enter the first few letters of the parameter query, M O N, and then select it from the list. Enter. The privacy level window will appear. Just click ignore privacy levels. You know, a way to prevent this window from appearing is to change the setting once you load the source data. You only have to do it once. Go to File, Options and Settings, Query Options, Privacy, and select Always Ignore Privacy Level. Now close and load. The query now uses the value in this cell to filter the query results. Edit the cell contents to match and then refresh the query. See, 
each time you change the input, the column width changes. Now to stop that from adjusting each time, right click, select table, external data properties and uncheck adjust column width. Okay. Now, you know, instead of typing in the month, you can actually create a drop down list by using data validation. I'll use that in the next example. Let's see what happens when I delete the content of this cell and refresh the query. You can refresh all right here in the data tab. It returns an empty table because the criteria is blank. Now to walk around this, you can modify the M code. So go back to the parameter query. The value is null and null in this case refers to an empty cell. Go back to the data and insert a new step. You can do that on the formula bar or just right click and select insert step after. Now all you have to do is write an if statement. I'm going to clear this to make it easy to understand. Equals if month filter is equal to null, then return the step before the filter that is removed other columns. Enter the hash symbol and select from the list else return filtered rows so if the parameter is empty the step before applying the filter will be returned if false the filtered data will be returned now close and load the unfiltered data has been returned i'll change this to main refresh there when I delete and refresh, the unfiltered data is returned. Cool. If you have multiple criteria, all you have to do is follow the same steps. I've created a drop down list for this. I'll name the cell year filter. Load into Power Query. Right click and drill down. The parameter has been created. Now close and load to connection. Now let's link the parameter to the data. Go back to the data, filter the year and link to the parameter. Next, insert another step for the if statement. If the year filter is equal to null, then return the step before filtered root. Else, return filtered root. Now close and load. The data can now be filtered by both criteria. And if any or both of them are blank, it will return the data accordingly. In summary, Power Query allows you to get data from any source and load the data into Excel based on the filter criteria you specify in your parameters. That's all for today. I hope you found the video useful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.